So, in the normal state of equilibrium, they support the body and when vitiated, they produce the disease. We are talking about doshas. So, doshas play important role in pathogenesis, diagnosis and treatment of the disease. Uh, vat, pit, kaf, these are the doshas as I mentioned. So, let us look at these components in more detail. In the normal state of equilibrium, doshas support the body and when these are vitiated, they produce disease. These are called doshas, doshas because whenever there is a contamination, it is reflected in the doshas first. So, uh, uh, kapha prakriti kapha doshas or vat dosh or pitta dosh, pitta dosh is related to the problem in digestion, vat uh, rog, uh, vat dosh is reflected in our ability to uh, concentrate or uh, the joint pains, kapha dosh is reflected in the uh, kaphas, the uh, in the un undue mucus ex excretion from the uh, in the nasopharyngeal area. So, doshas are the first thing to get disturbed. So, they play a very important role in pathogenesis and diagnosis as well as treatment and disease management. Man also moves from sattvic to rajasic or rajasic to tamasic. Rajasic is related to activity and tamas is related to inertness. Raj and tam when they are properly balanced with activity, these this state is called sattva. So, disturbance in these aspect of gunas result into uh, lack of health or well being. Dhatus in Ayurveda are correlated with the body tissues. For it, easy understanding, we can say these are the basic seven building blocks of the physical body and uh, they are called rasa, rakta, uh, mans, medha, ashti, majja. Let us look at doshas. The entire physiology and pathology in Ayurveda depend upon the status of three fundamental functional units in sharir. What are the three fundamental units in sharir? Doshas, dhatus, malas. These units or bioenergies, they control all functioning of body. So, among these three units, doshas are always first to get disturbed by various activities. Uh, if you have a uh, change in the dietary factor, there is a, a fluctuation in season, time during the day and my uh, engagement with the work, my uh, dincharya which, which is my daily routine or ritucharya that is my seasonal routine, doshas are disturbed, doshas are that which get disturbed first because of my uh, diet or my dincharya or routine. There are three types of doshas, first is vat dosh, vat is derived from word va that means gati. So, anything related to the movement is related to vata dosh. There are some physiological, functional and physical trait associated with vata dosh and there are some traits and psychological traits which are related to vata dosh. Those who have taken the NPTEL course, they must have received a link about assessment of their doshas. So, by taking that assessment which is developed by David Frawley, the great uh, in, scholar, by looking at th their assessment, they can understand whether they have more of vata dosh, pitta dosh or kapha dosh. So, let us talk about the vata dosh. Vata dosh is concerned with mode of movement within the body and therefore, governs uh, nerve impulses circulation, respiration and elimination. This is responsible for maintaining sensory, emotional and mental harmony and it facilitates mental adaptability and comprehension. So, if there is a vata dosh, people will find it difficult to concentrate on one topic. 
classically people with the prominent vata dosh have a thin body, low body weight and low bone structure. These are the physiological aspect. There are some psychological traits as well associated with vata dosh. These people having more prominent vata dosh are more creative, enthusiastic, fast and responsive people. They have a special drive to achieve goals in life. So, individual with the vat constitution is characterized by a short memory, impulsive, they are shy, sensitive and the, uh, these things also make, make them little more distracted in comparison to other doshas from one subject to another. So, these are the characteristic, general characteristic of vat dosha. Pitta dosha and the or the word pitt is derived from the root tap which means heat. So, this dosha is responsible for digestion which is pachan and uh, parinaman which is metabolize, metabolism and digestion. So, pitt governs the process of transformation or metabolism by regulating digestion, absorption, assimilation temperature associated with that, skin coloration and luster of eyes. Pitt regulates the digestion on mental and spiritual level as well. That is our capacity to digest impression, emotions, ideas that also come from the Pitt. So, dosha in the, uh, in the uh, common term is considered as problems or doshas are considered as drawbacks. No. In the Ayurveda, dosha are not considered as drawback, these are the basic constituents. These are ca called dosha because they get, they are the first to show the contamination at physiological and psychological level, but they themselves are not the uh, problems, they themselves are not the errors or drawbacks. These are there in everybody, not only in everybody, all the forms of being. So, medium or athletic build is uh, the characteristic of the people having high vata dosh uh, and they are generally having medium height and delicate frame. There are some psychological characteristic associated with the people having more prominent vata dosh uh, or vata prakriti that is intelligence, courage and vitality. They are like they come across as full of energy courageous people, intelligent people who want to go to the depth of the subject or the people whom in whom vata dosh is more prominent, they will have multiple interest from one topic to another topic, they, they, they can comfortably keep hopping. But pitta dosh result into capability of focusing on one thing, focusing on one topic and go in depth into it. So, that is the characteristic uh, uh, given by the pitt dosha. Psychologically, pitt endangers anger, hate, jealousy, these are also the side effects of the vata dosh. So, people uh, having vata dosh are supposed to reflect these characteristics, these psychological characteristics also more often. Kapha dosha is reflection of the bioenergy that is responsible for maintaining the proper water balance, hydration and moisture in our bodies. So, this, this is responsible for growth, adding structure and governs the lubrication of the body to offer protection and directly influencing the emotions. This dosha is concerned with emotions and it endorphs with love caring, devotion, faith which assist in maintaining internal harmony along with the unity with others. A well developed body with a tendency to gain weight is the reflection of kapha dosha. So, people with the high and more prominent kapha dosha, they show the characteristic of steadiness, calmness, being compassionate and they are psychologically uh, endanger the emotion of attachment, greed and envy. So, you see there are some 
physiological characteristic associated with the doshas and there are psychological characteristic also associated with doshas. Those who are registered through NPTEL in this course, they must have received an assessment questionnaire to look at what is their prominent uh, prakriti and vikriti.